Hey guys, Alec Hunter with Five Dying Gaming here today. I am joined by Memo Acebo. Yep. Hello everyone, Five Nine Gaming, Memo Acebo, new in the club, and I'm happy to be here, man. Welcome to your first video. And little Bobby, I believe you're also new. Are, is this your first video as well? Uh, it is. Yeah. Glad all to be right. here. Five Nine's a great organization. All right. All right. Enough with the butt kissing, guys. You still have your jobs. <laughs> <laughs> For now. <laughs> Got it. All right. So. Um, we're going to jump in, and this is kind of a heavy video for you guys for your first video, so I apologize for yes. that, but I'm glad that you're yes. here with me. Uh, Gina Carano of The Mandalorian has been fired amid social media controversy. This is a report from The Hollywood Reporter. Uh, Lucasfilm released a statement today saying Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm, and there are no plans for her to be in the future. Um, nevertheless, her social media posts denigrating people based on their culture and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. Uh, it's safe to say, without us going into the details of what those comments were, that Miss Carano had some politically divisive opinions um, and was mm. very open to sharing those opinions. <laughs> Um, yes, which, that's what social media does to them, right? I mean, they have Twitter and they think they can say whatever they want, but they forget they're in the public eye. They're celebrities. Mm -hmm. like, they can't just like go to Twitter with no filter. It's definitely a lesson you think that people would have learned by now. But yeah, for sure. I mean, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. um, I'm personally less interested in, in Gina Carano being let go from, from the Mandalorian and more interested in how this affects the Mandalorian and, uh, the spinoff series, the, uh, yeah, the Rangers the Ra of the new Republic. Thank you. Rangers of the new Republic. Um, obviously we're not going to see her in the Mandalorian <laughs> in the future. Yeah. No, um, no. So that cuts that character's storyline completely off, which, as we mentioned, was rumored to be spinning off, or was that confirmed that it was spinning off to uh, the Rangers show? Bob? Uh, it was announced. It was part of the Disney uh, announcement uh, at the end of last year, I think in December. Okay. So, Memo, do you think this is going to put the kibosh on that, or do you think they're just going to recast or maybe mm. retool? Well, in my opinion, G Gina's character, and for me, was forgettable i um, i don't think she had a, a like a storyline like a solid storyline in the series we randomly saw her again appear no, spoilers right we can talk spoilers yeah absolutely yeah so when when mando was asking help for the baby yoda rescue mm -hmm. it's it was kind of a shoe shoehorn for me like she was just thrown there to to do it because she had she doesn't have a storyline so she's there for support for like a support role with with mando and rangers of the new republic this new series to me was kind of also like uh, out of the blue. Like I don't know why they would do a series with Gina's character. It's not that big of a character to me. But now that she's gone from Mando, I think there's I think there's no linking character for the series. So like, what would Mando link with this new series if Gina is gone? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's the question we all have. Okay. Um. What about the possibility of just recasting the role? Do you think that would fly, Bobby? Uh, I would I would think that at least, you know, Memo said that her performance and her character was pretty forgettable. I mean, I can kind of agree with that. I mean, I, I like the character, but like, do I remember all that much about her? Not really. Um, if If you want to recast her, I think now is the time to do it when she was just starting to really pick up and be in the series more. She was in like a few episodes in the beginning and then came back and it was supposed to be this big callback. But again, you, she went so long from being in episode to episode to then kind of coming back and being developed a little bit that I think recasting her now and just moving forward with the new series is going to be the way they go. Yeah, I agree. If, if they recast it right now, I will be down for it. Give us a new a new actress to go along with the role. I don't think uh, it's gonna, I don't think it's that big, that big of a deal right now. A recast is not that important since there's literally nothing the Rangers of the, Re of the New Republic has done. So we haven't seen anything, no like mm -hmm. first views or like quick teasers. So if you bring a new actress, I'll be down for it. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Well, at this point uh, with the announcement, there's no principal photography because there hasn't been a report yeah. of uh, shooting date nothing 
So they could easily just clip this entire thing off. Um, I don't think that their Star Wars plan is as tightly woven as their Marvel plans. Uh, so losing I a show like Rangers, I don't think would affect the grand scheme of things as far as the Star Wars side goes. Um, yeah. I, I, yeah, I've noticed that uh, Dave Filoni doesn't plan much from the beginning. So when things are coming up, he's like, okay, we can maybe do this now, you know, since this happened. And that's been his shtick since Rebels, since Star Wars Rebels came out. So losing Rangers to the New Republic right now, I don't think it's going to hinder like the big plan if there is a big plan because i know feloni has this mind that can just connect things in the spot so if if he's thinking okay gene is gone rangers is gone what can we do now and he's probably going to come up with a good idea i believe i believe in feloni i do too i think i think yeah. he's got a really great grasp on the star wars universe and feel more than a grand story arc that has to be done a certain way yeah. So I think he will be able to pivot pretty easily, regardless of what happens, if they decide to recast or just scrap the whole project. Yep, agree. Yeah, I absolutely agree. With with Filoni and Favreau behind the wheel, uh, you know, they're they're in very good hands. Um, Filoni has definitely proven himself by building up Ahsoka, a character designed to be hated and then designed to be loved. <laughs> you know, it's it's a it's True. a hell of a character arc. Um, yeah. But speaking of character arcs. I, I can't even remember Gina Carano's character's name in the Dude, Mandalorian. Dude, me, me neither. I was literally like, thinking, what, this what's is, her this name? This is how little I care about the character. <laughs> yeah. So, like, seriously, just cut this thing off. That's my opinion. Just cut it off. Sure, I mean, sure. She's she's not memorable. Mm -hmm. I you agree. Know? Like, I mean, no, that, she... that character just didn't... I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe you guys in the chat, you know, or in the comment section, you guys like that character. I just felt that she was... Republic Me. soldier number four five two. Yeah, the tough one, the <laughs> tough soldier. That's that's what she is for me. The tough one. Right. Hey, you need, you need big guns. You go get a Gina's character because I don't know her name. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. I agree. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's it was something. It was something strange. It, I remember. I remember thinking that's a weird name and it's hard to remember. So, hmm. well, so. uh but yeah, so big things happening in the uh, the Star Wars universe over at Disney+. Plus. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this story unfolds. For more information, keep it tuned here to 5.9 Gaming. I am Alec Hunter with Little Bobby and Memo Asibo, signing out. Peace. Take care.